the watershed, the lagoon, the beaches, the aquifer, it's all linked. The water has always represented our, our, our lifeline, our commerce, our livelihoods. It's our lifeblood, our surface waters. Our economy relies on it as well as our human health. It's the infrastructure, really, of our way of life and economy here on the Treasure and Space Coast. It really is, and that, that's what captivates people. I mean, when people want to visit Florida, they want to go to the beaches, they want to go to the springs, they want to go to the rivers. Our rivers and oceans, if we pollute those to the point that the animals, the bioorganisms, and the plants that live in them can no longer survive, there's no way to undo that, and it's, it's not a cost component. Maintaining clean water is important, not only the surface water that we all see in our lakes and ponds, but also the water that's under the ground, our aquifers underneath our feet. I'd love to see water quality get better in the next five to 10 years. Since so many people are moving to Florida, we're definitely at a point where it could continue to get worse. So back in 1979, you know, this river was virtually untouched. It was beautiful, um, and it still very much is beautiful, but there's so many people that live in this community. So, you know, when you add more bodies to the community, that's the potential for more negative impact. Packs. It's going to take public-private partnerships, it's going to take the homeowners, you know, it's going to take a little bit of level of everybody. It's going to take, um, even at the political level, I, I really think, you know, funding is super important. We have a lot of projects on the shelf that can restore things and we can work to improve stormwater, water quality, anything like that in that nature. Uh, it's just, it's really a multi-pronged approach. I think people who live further inland you know, they say, well, I don't live near a waterway, so I'm really not having any impact. That's not true. Every single person, especially here in this community on the Treasure Coast, we all have an impact. Try to engage with the with our environment as much as you can. You know, get out in our, our parks that we have. Is, you know, St. Louis County has got an amazing number of uh, natural spaces that are available. Get out on the water. Enjoy. This area is so special for our connection to the water get in the water, get on the water, or just go to an oceanfront restaurant and look over the water. That helps you connect to the reasons that we're doing it. But it's just so important that people understand if you want to keep it nice, then you have to take some responsibility for it yourself and make sure that, you know, if you are out kayaking, if you are out boating or something like that, you know, you shouldn't be dumping litter into the river. Um, again, at home locally, you know, cut back, just educate yourself about the pesticides, about um, the fertilizer and things that you're using because again, it all, it all ends up here. Um, everything you do at home, no matter how far away from the water you are, it still impacts this river somehow, some way. It's crunch time for Florida uh, to secure our water future in Florida. Uh, some tough decisions are gonna have to be made.